Good morning, afternoon, and evening. This is Straw Hat Logbook, and today we turn the pages of the logbook way back, all the way back to Romance Dawn. We will be looking at the three versions of Romance Dawn, and since we are looking back, there will be spoilers. Now, the aforementioned three versions include the first 1996 version, the second 1996 version with vibrant garb, mm -hmm, and the third version which all of us knew and love. First the first. This version was published in the 1996 Shonen Jump Summer Special, which featured upcoming star mangakas like our dear Ishiro Uda back in the day. Now, much like in the much more popular version, our favorite red-haired man, Shanks, plays an instrumental and inspirational role here. He and his lovable crew of party lovers have inspired a young Luffy, so much so that the child keeps bickering Shanks about taking him to sea, while Shanks thinks the boy is still too young. Anyway, Luffy ends up eating the devil fruit, Gomu Gomu no Mi, from the pirate's treasure, which leads to the crew losing their minds and Luffy losing his ability to swim. However, determined to be a pirate and determined to prove himself to Shanks, Luffy takes a boat and goes out to sea, where he is attacked by a humongous shark and is left to stare into the jaws of death. Shanks arrives in the nick of time to save the boy and gives a death stare to the monster who scrams. It is then revealed that Shanks had sacrificed his left arm to save Luffy. Afterwards, as Shanks and crew are about to depart, Luffy once again begs Shanks to take him with them, while Shanks teases the boy. An incensed Luffy proclaims that he will definitely become a pirate. The boy's determination wins Shanks over, and he gives the boy his treasured straw hat, asking Luffy to return it when he becomes a great pirate. Now, this is not the main story of this romance dawn. No, this is just a flashback. The main story revolves around one of Luffy's adventures. Luffy who is at sea in a boat which is peculiar in having four flags with four different Jolly Rogers. The adventure involves an initial kerfuffle with a notorious pirate named Crescent Moon Galley, Luffy meeting and befriending a young swordswoman Silk, and a further fisticuffs with Galley, which ends with Luffy breaking Galley's ship. In the epilogue, a pirate ship is seen sailing in the ocean, with two pirates strongly resembling Silk and Galley waking up their captain, Straw Hat Luffy. The narrator closes out by saying that the name Straw Hat Luffy will spread far and wide, but that is a story for another day. Done with the first and on to the second. The second version was released in 1996 itself, but is vastly different. Here the inspirational pirate role is played by a violent grandpa who is basically a pirate version of Garp. In contrast to Luffy's eagerness and Shanks' hesitancy, here Garp is eager to see Luffy as a pirate, whilst Luffy, not knowing how to swim, is dead set against it. After an adventure in the sea, Garp and his crew had procured a lumpsum amount of treasure, which included the devil fruit Gomu Gomu no Mi, which they planned to sell for millions. However, Luffy nonchalantly eats the fruit, commenting on its nasty taste. A shocked Garp informs the child about the fruit's devilish nature, but now that Luffy has forever lost his ability to swim, Garp gives up on making his grandson a pirate. Luffy, though, suddenly loses all his composure and breaks down confessing that he always wanted to be a pirate, but was afraid to admit it since he hadn't learned to swim. Hearing this, Garp comforts the crying child, but it all somehow descends into the grandpa-grandson dynamic that we are all so familiar with. They start fighting. Now, once again, this is not the main story of this romance story. No, this is just a flashback. The main story of this romance dawn too revolves around one of Luffy's adventures. Luffy is at sea in a boat when a panda-like bird crashes into his boat. We go on to meet the panda bird's best friend Annie and the crafty, especially rich crafty pirate, Spiel. Annie is being held captive by Spiel to lure the magical panda bird who he then shot. 
The vehicle was sent Spiel flying, but Spiel, using black magic, breaks his own ship, leaving Luffy to drown. But he's saved by Annie. As a triumphant Spiel flies away with Panda Bird, Luffy decides to take flight, leading to the Spiel face. Luffy then delivers a satisfactory punch to Spiel. Towards the end of the story, Annie flies away on Panda Bird, wishing Luffy luck on his many adventures. And the narrator closes out by saying the name Straw Hat Luffy will spread far and wide. But that is a story for another day. Now, in the SBS section of this version, Oda talks to his readers perhaps for the first time. He reveals that he first drew a pirate manga when he was in 7th grade, that is, he was just 12 years old. He didn't know about draft paper, pen, or how to properly draw a manga, so he was drawing on a piece of paper with pencil. Back then, he also played soccer and enjoyed being a part of the team, so he incorporated this into his longtime favorite genre, pirates. And thus, the One Piece core element, Nakama, was born. He further addresses the first version as sort of a prototype for the actual One Piece. Anyway, getting to the third and last version, the real version of Romance Dawn. It was published in the Shonen Jump July 1997 issue, and unlike the previous versions, the main story here is the flashback, the origins of Monkey D. Luffy. The story begins with the execution of the man who had it all. Wealth, fame, power. For he was Gold Roger, the king of the pirates. His final words inspired adventurers throughout the world to set sail into the vast oceans in search of the treasure he had left behind, beginning a great era of piracy. The story skips forward 12 years and we see a young Luffy trying to show his guts to Shanks and his crew so that they take him along with them out to the sea. Though the crew really liked Luffy, a retrospectively hypocritical Shanks thinks Luffy is too young. Shanks was around 9 years when he was with Roger and the others. Anyway, the story as most of you must know includes a one-sided kerfuffle created by Higuma the a-hole, Shanks giving Luffy life lessons, all of them realizing that the boy had eaten Gomu Gomu no Mi, which we now know as Hitavita no Mi model Nika, never getting used to that, and a further confrontation with Higuma a few days later. Facing defeat in that latter confrontation, a creative thinker Higuma decides to escape pirates by using a boat. He kicks hostage Luffy off the said boat and goes on to be eaten by the local Sea King. Shanks then saves Luffy from the Sea King, sacrificing his own left arm. Afterwards, as Shanks and the crew are ready to depart, Luffy makes his bold proclamation for the first time, which makes Shanks hand down the now legendary straw hat asking Luffy to return it when he becomes a great pirate. Okay, so now that we have recapped all three versions, time to review. As the second version is sort of an alternate universe created by Oda, only because he loves the pirate genre so much, we'll be analyzing only the prototype, that is the first version, and the marketed product, that is version 3. The flashback in version 1 is sort of an abridged version of the true romance dawn. Luffy being an anchor, Shanks teasing him, the crew loving him. However, Shanks' mini speech about dangers of the sea makes us note the absence of one Mr. Ben Beckman. Also, in the first version, Luffy eats the fruit to sort of get back at the pirate crew rather than innocently having some dessert. The revelation about the devil fruits are almost identical panels, but Luffy going out to sea by himself to prove that he's a baka is replaced by Higuma's actions, and the shark serves as a real-world alternative to the much more larger and scarier Sea King. The save, the Conqueror's Archie and Shanks' arm reveal are all, again, almost identical panels. Afterwards, as Shanks and crew are leaving, Luffy begs them to take him with them. I much prefer the Luffy who had decided to become a pirate on his own. Most notable though is the fact that version 1 Luffy proclaims that he will become a pirate and not the iconic I will become the king of the pirates. Does that mean Roger and the extended adventures were a late edition? Who knows? Anyway, 
the hat handover is as beautiful as ever. The rest of the story depicted in version 1 has more or less nothing to do with the true version. Only parts carried over is people being astonished by Luffy's rubber powers and Luffy helping out a whole village and its people whilst inspiring the one character with whom we feel that emotional attachment. That character here is Silk. She is sort of the prototype for both Zoro and Nami. The sword and the fight him first attitude is very Zoro-like, while the abandoned baby backstory and overall design sort of resemble Nami. Of note is a classification of pirates as adventure-loving, lovable peacemates and merciless plunderers as Morgania. This classification is mentioned in both the early versions, but though viable in the actual masterpiece, these terms have never been used yet. Maybe they are terms that were used during the void century, since then erased by the world government to make the masses think that all pirates are, well, Morgania. Now, I had initially planned to analyze and theorize with the true romance dawn and about Shanks in this video itself, but working on it I realized that it warrants a video of its own. Like how much did Shanks know? Is everything happening according to his plan? Does evil lurk behind those eyes? Well, tune in next time to find out. For now, I leave you with a song. Like, comment and subscribe. Like, comment and subscribe. Like, comment and subscribe. I'll make you happy too.